Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Makeup by Carme. If it is your first time here, welcome. So, it is a beauty blogger that I just love so much. Like, she is one of my absolute favorites. And she just recently did this look. Like, every look that she does is amazing, like, mind-blowing. But she just did, like, this one particular look. And, oh, my gosh, you guys. I just felt, like, in my spirit, like, girl, you got to recreate this. Like, you got to try to do this look. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen her face everywhere because she is, like, she's queen of eyeshadow, honey. Like, if you go on Pinterest and type in any kind of eyeshadow look, her picture's gonna pop right up. Like, she's that deal. Her name is Drea, but you guys might know her as Miss Benty Vegas. For the ones that's acting like they don't know, let me just show y'all who this is real quick. Let me show y'all who y'all trying to sleep on. As you can see, she's that deal, honey, okay? Period. Nobody is messing with her when it comes to the eyeshadow game. This is the look I'm trying to recreate today. She's also already done a tutorial on this look on her Instagram. You guys can follow her on there and check out this look too if you guys want to see her do it. But yeah, I'm going to try to recreate it. So, let's get into it. Starting with brows, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil and I'm gonna fill in my brows. I think one day I'm gonna do an eyebrow tutorial, even though I hate like doing brows. I think I'm gonna do a tutorial, I think it's needed. I'm doing a concealer combination today. I'm doing my LA Pro Girl. I always call it LA Pro Girl. It's LA Girl Pro Concealer. LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm doing LA Girl Pro Concealer and my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I'm gonna blend both of these two together. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place kind of in the front and then I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl. Now I'm just gonna set it with my banana baking powder by Makeup Revolution that I always use. I'm just setting it because I hate when it creases up. That's been really bothering me lately, so I'm just setting it. Before I move on to eyeshadow, I'm cleaning up the top of my brows. I just use my Makeup Forever foundation. It's their invisible cover one. Y'all already know I hate halo brows, so. Gotta get a color that's close to my skin tone to clean up the top of my brows. I never use this palette. This is my Coastal Scents palette. It's called Creative Me Number no. One. And oh my God, it's just like really colorful shades. I think I never use this palette because I'm into more neutral looks. I got this palette when I like really, really first got into makeup. So that had to be about 2013, 2012. It was a gift from my sister-in-law, but these are really nice eyeshadows. Coastal Scent eyeshadows are like really, really pigmented. So I'm gonna start off using this um, like bright orange shade right here. That's gonna be my transition color. Now I'm going 
and mix some shades together. I'm trying to follow like Drea's is that steps. Hopefully it turns out right. I'm taking my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette and I'm using this shade right here. It is called Jamata. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I'm mixing it with this bright pink shade out of the Coastal Sense palette. Now I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here and kind of put that in the corner. That shade is a little light, so I'm gonna also mix it with this dark purple right here. It's time to cut the crease now. Hopefully I don't mess up on this. I have a hard time cutting the crease for some reason. Like when I'm not trying to, that's the only time I'm able to do it really good. So let's hope this works. I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 3 and I'm gonna use my concealer brush by Morphe. All right, I cut the lid. Y'all did pretty good this time, I did pretty good. I'm using this rose gold shade, it's called Come and Get It by ColourPop. It's one of their single shadows. hardly even use this shade but color pop was on to something when they made this okay now i'm gonna take this like dark kind of blue shade and put that like in the corner Now I'm taking my Tarte palette. It is called Make Believe in Yourself. I bought this like so long ago and I never even used it. It was honestly, I ain't gonna say it was a waste of money, but I bought it a long time ago and didn't even use it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take this shade called Wings. It's like a kind of like a copper penny like shade. And I'm gonna put that like in the front of my eye. use this palette I just I'm gonna start using this palette because these shades they're like nice kind of frosty like shades they kind of remind you of highlighters a little bit and I can do some things with this I'm gonna start using this now I'm gonna put on some Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner I don't believe Drea had on eyeliner she probably did but it wasn't nothing like it wasn't anything too much so I'm gonna use just like a little bit. It's gonna be very lightweight. No, I'm not winging it out today. Just something lightweight, okay? Before we get into foundation, I'm gonna prime my face. Y'all already know, if you've been watching me, I use the Becca Ever Matte Primer. Like I always tell y'all, this is really good for someone who has oily skin. All you need is just a little bit and you press it into the skin. 
Now I'm gonna set my primer really quick. I'm using my banana um, loose setting powder by Makeup Revolution. Before I put my foundation, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer to do a little bit of color correcting. I have a little discoloration near my mouth area and I'm just gonna color correct that. Like I said before, I'm using my Makeup Forever foundation. I'm gonna blend that out. doing another concealer combination I'm using the Morphe concealer and I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend concealer I'm just using my foundation brush to press everything in, just making sure everything just like blends in exactly how I want it. It's time to set and bake. I'm using my banana luxury powder again. And I'm just gonna set and bake. to blend all this excess powder out with my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. And this is just about to go, sit so good. Going back in with my foundation brush, just pressing in that pressed powder we use to dust away everything. I'm getting ready to contour. I've been loving this combination lately. I got this from one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Kiki. These two shades together from the Warrior 2 palette for bronzer, they are called Yoda and Kufuru. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm gonna mix those shades together and contour.
haven't stocked up on my pencil eyeliner yet, so I'm using my Ink Black Gel Liner and I'm gonna line my waterline. And I think I'm gonna set it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I guess it was like a, how you burp inside your mouth, but not like a real burp. That's what I think it was. Oh, ah, the ghetto, the ghetto. Those two pink shades that I used together before, the Jamada out of the Juvia's Place palette and that pink shade out of the Coastal Sense palette, I'm gonna mix them together again and smoke out the bottom of my waterline. For highlighter today, I'm using the Juvia's Place Nefertiti highlighter. Y'all, I got a quick funny story about this highlighter. Okay, so I've had this highlighter for like a little while now. So I always close it wrong. So I recently closed it wrong. Well, not recently, probably like a few months ago. I closed it wrong and I could not get it open. And my husband tried getting it open so many times, but I made a deal with him. So he opened it for me, y'all. He had to cut this thing all up. He ended up cutting his finger. I love him so much. I'm so happy. I know Drea didn't use highlighter in her video, but y'all just love highlighter. I can't help it. I'm gonna put some on. For blush, if you've been watching me, you already know what the deal is. Pilama Grande. I use this all the time. I use other blushes too, but this one is just my favorite. Before I throw my lashes on, I'm gonna put on some Better Than Sets mascara. Then I'm gonna put my lashes on, do my lip color, and we gonna do our thing, okay? Okay, you guys, that was the completed look. That first lip combination you see me have on, that dark lip, that was Intense Licorice Lip Liner by Clinique, and it was MAC Cyber Lipstick. I took it off though because I don't really like how dark lips look on me like that for real, especially ones that aren't matte. See, the only lip color I had that matches Drea's, it was more of like a, a shine to it and I didn't feel like it looked right on me. But this one is Intense Licorice Lip Liner and MAC Blankety Lipstick. So it's a little dark, but I'm more of a nude kind of girl. So what y'all think? Did y'all think I nailed it or, or what? Did I nail it? You win. In my opinion, I think I sort of kind of nailed it. I feel like I basically got the whole gist of it. Of course, Drea's colors were way more vibrant than mine. We both used two totally different things though to do our looks. Of course, the copy is not gonna be as good as the original. <laughs> I had to recreate this look though, like, oh my gosh like i was just in love with her eyeshadow it looked amazing and y'all i love drea like she's like my libra sis like i feel like she don't care what she say and she just so real and i just love her she just yeah she reminds me of me <laughs> it's that libra thing y'all gotta get hit but like i said before if you like this look you can definitely go on drea's page for the original her name is miss Betty vegas that's her Instagram. But if you enjoyed my look too, <laughs> make sure you hit that like button. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time I post. New videos dropping every Wednesday and Sunday. And do not forget to follow me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Makeup by Carmay. You can follow my personal Instagram and on Snapchat and Twitter at Miss Carmay. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Bye.